What you learning about Montserrat? Volcano stuff. Volcano stuff, yeah. What's the most interesting fact you read so far? Uh, they used to have 11,000 people, now they have like 4,000 people. Mm -hmm. After the volcano. That's sad. Well, everybody just died. Yeah, it's not going die. Yeah. And if you go down to the south side, you'll see that uh, the buildings are covered up to the rooftops with ash. Mm -hmm. So it wasn't the volcano itself that was like really destructive, it was the constant ash flow that just uh, keeps smothering everything. And one of the. Well, yeah, not really. Apparently, the ash is uh, it's really easy for vegetation to grow. So some of these beaches oh. are twice as big as they used to be. Yeah. I mean, it sucks in the meantime, but it doesn't yeah. take long for vegetation to like take hold and start growing on it. So. Oh, wow. close and if it pokes you, uh, the sheath that was over these before I cleaned them up will get pushed back over it and then the venom from these spines, from the sheath, will get inside you. You're okay to touch and handle, but you don't want to get poked because like, if that venom gets inside you, it's really going to burn, it's going to be irritating, um, you're going to be in a lot of pain, which is why sometimes depending on how bad you get poked by it. So I thought we'd keep them, some good sized ones. I keep them, maybe use them as toothpicks tonight, but we're gonna grill these bad boys up tonight with some garlic. I got some uh, mango hot sauce that I got on Nevis. So, yeah, we're gonna make something yummy tonight.
So in this episode, we sailed into the island of Montserrat, home of one of the most famous volcanoes in the Caribbean, and one that is still active and still smoking. 2017 represents the 10th year I'll be stopping in at Montserrat, and it never ceases to amaze. Visiting an island that has a completely buried city is something you just don't get to do very often. I still remember the first time I sailed past the volcano of Montserrat, and it taught me a new level of respect for the unknown. We went past under full sail thinking, oh, it's dormant, shouldn't have any problem. And as I was standing on deck filming some of the buried city, a huge melting wind came right down off the volcano and literally broke the stem fitting on the bow of the boat and the entire furling and jib went right over the side, only connected by the masthead. So like they say, don't mess with the mountain. Feed the chain out. Just push the, no, no, just push the chain over the bow, oh. the loose chain. Yeah. Okay, just push it out again. There you go. Oh, you want it right now?
way you guys came running out of the woods, I thought you saw a big snake or something. No, other humans. Ah! Even worse. On our beach. <laughs> On our beach. <laughs> About to find out. This is the last one. Are you right now? Megan, it looks like you're naked because your backpack's like covering up your bikini bottom. Yeah, she's just cruising. Restricted area. Getting ready to send the drone off the helicopter pad. Okay. It's like our first. It looks like the strongest transmitter is pointing that way over towards like our anchorage area. Okay, so don't fly that one. Yeah, I'm not sure. Don't know if it'll cause interference, but that's where the biggest big signal is going to be. <laughs> Sasha wanted a helicopter ride today, but maybe it's. Sasha's getting ready for her helicopter ride that she wanted. Can you see? Is it clear? Okay, everybody back up a little bit. Okay. Let's launch this thing. Some, some guy just said he's calling the police, so time to pack up the drone. Oh, we were already landing it. I know. Why is he calling the police? No, we're going Yeah, we're fine. Alright, this guy's calling the police on us. Time to go. Yeah, where are we going, Joseph? Yeah, oh, cool. Is that Plymouth? Yeah. Oh, okay. very oh cool. it is. That sounds very scary. Yeah. Well, I thought first it was very scary, but after a while they get accustomed to it. Did they? Did you? Did they know it was coming, or did it just happen? Okay, it, it started with a. It start when it started. It started with a song like you know, like a jet, uh -huh. a singing song. Uh -huh. But we didn't know where the song coming from. We only just hear the sound up in the mountain. For days. For a few days, well. Okay. Well, I hope you enjoyed part one of our introduction to Montserrat. And if so, be sure and keep an eye out for part two, where we're going to take you back in time to when the volcano was actually erupting. And you know how we can't resist trying to get those ultimate shots that push the limits? Well, this time we took Sophisticated Lady right into the exclusion zone and anchored right at the foot of the volcano, right in front of the buried city.
It's a bit stinky because now we are in the part where uh, we're getting a little covered by volcanic ash. So 